Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is James, here today with your daily GTA 5 and gaming tips, news, info, and more. And today we have some awesome information about a single player DLC that's definitely going to be coming to GTA Online. We're going to be talking about the DLC, what's supposed to be in it, my expectations for it, and what I hope to see in it. Now really quick, before we get into the video, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to support it by leaving a like. It helps my channel grow. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to join my official GTA 5 crew called the Turkey Stuffers. We got over 500 new members yesterday. I was pretty excited since the new member limit of crews increased. I could and now have all of you guys up to 1,000 of you in my crew so make sure to join while the openings are still there. Now recently Rockstar had put up on their blog the giant post about the business DLC all of that and what's going to be contained in it and pretty much everybody on YouTube that has a channel posted a video about the business DLC. Everybody was talking about it and pretty excited for what I saw. The DLC looked pretty good but what really matters was a little line of text that they put at the bottom of the post. Everyone was so distracted by the main post nobody really got to reading that text on the bottom. Rockstar has done this a few times before they do a pretty meaty big post with some important information and they tease a new DLC or something coming right at the bottom and most people don't notice it, they go straight to the content and then leave. At the bottom of the post it said this, and stay tuned for details about our upcoming business update event weekend as well as more information to be revealed on future updates including online heists, the capture creator update, and new assassination and flight school missions for story mode and much more. Now we already know about the heists, we already know about the capture creator update, but what we do not know about is these assassination missions in flight school for the story mode. There has been some information that people have been dropping about possible new assassination missions. There was the audio files that dropped. But this is essentially Rockstar confirming all of those leaks that there is going to be new assassination missions. And they also talked about flight school missions. Now I find this a little bit odd mainly because, well, nobody really did the flight school missions and if you did, you're doing it just through once quick run to get 100% completion on the game and, uh, or if you just wanted to improve your pilot skills real quick, that's really about it. Nobody really did the flight school missions for fun, I mean they were pretty fun, but nobody just went and did flight school missions the whole game. They're really out of the way, they didn't have as big of an impact in the game as the assassinations did. Now the only reason I could see why they add more flight school missions is either they're bringing new helicopters and planes in the game, we already know they're bringing in that new jet for the business DLC, but I mean something more different, something out there that you're going to need more training on, or there is some sort of golden prize at the end of the road after you complete all of the flight school missions, you get this prize. Or Rockstar could give us the hunter that they've been teasing about as a reward for getting platinum on all the flight missions just like San Andreas. Pretty sick looking helicopter, I'd definitely like to have that in the game. But uh, for me, the hunter reward would just about be the only thing that would interest me in what this DLC has. The assassination missions might be cool, but I already have a lot of money online. I honestly liked the GTA 4 story mode and how the DLCs for that game, there are stories on stories and the characters crossed paths. I want to know your you know, opinions on that. Drop a comment down below. Do you want Rockstar to just drop little updates like they do now, new cars, new this, new that? Or do you want them to every so once in a while drop a large story mode DLC with a completely new revamp, a new HUD, new characters, new all of that, and uh, pretty much like a new mission but in the same world and somehow the characters cross paths a few times. I think that would be pretty cool. And I definitely like the way GTA 4 did that and I hope they continue that in GTA 5. Even though they did talk a lot about how they were swaying away from that tactic and they wanted to instead just do little updates like add some more heists, all of this and that, which I do think can be cool but man, a one big DLC, there's so much to explore, so many new possibilities, it's going to be like November almost all over again. But at the end of the post, it does say much more. What is Rockstar hiding? What else are they going to be telling us about? I'm not sure exactly. Since a lot of the stuff they've been teasing, they've been teasing heists, uh, assassination missions, flight school, all that stuff. They've been teasing heists for a while now since GTA Online came out. So knowing at the rate Rockstar goes, the end more part will probably be seen in about a year from now. No, but seriously guys, they are working pretty slow and I do hope to see the heists online soon. But I mean, obviously they're taking their time. Hopefully it will pay off. Hopefully the wait will pay off. Now, that's really about it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to support it by leaving a like. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome daily gaming and GTA 5 content. Helps my channel grow. I'm on the road to 300,000 subscribers. Make sure to check out my Twitter and follow my Facebook. Does it work like that? No, it doesn't. Make sure to check out my Facebook and follow my Twitter. Do exclusive giveaways and updates there, all that cool stuff. And uh, last but not least, if you haven't already, make sure to join my crew. We gained like five, 600 members yesterday. I just found out there was the new crew limit increase. We're already at about 800 members, so 200 spots left. Make sure to join while you can. It's PS3 and Xbox. Love to have you in the crew. I love playing with people in the crew. That's about it, everybody, and have a great day. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.